the Daiwa Saltiga, the highest end spinning reel in Daiwa's lineup with direct competitors with the Shimano Stella SW in a van stall. I had to pick up one of these reels after I got my Shimano Stella and just see what it was all about. I noticed that there was the new 2023 Saltiga Minis, which is a 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 side coming out soon, or by the time this video drops, they've already started to actually distribute those reels to retailers. And I was really wanting to put one of those to the test. And I was also looking for a reel to use for Tarpon and Cobia. So I had to pick up a Saltiga and I decided to go with the 8,000. Today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going over this reel, how it comes out of the box, and then some of the information and technology that is in this reel. So starting off, let's go ahead and unbox everything that comes with this reel. So open it up. You get this really nice, hard, well, soft case from Daiwa. Open it. There's another little pouch that the actual handle comes in. And then in the big pouch is the reel itself. So right there, hopefully you guys can see everything in it. And that is an amazing looking and feeling reel. So let's throw this handle on it real quick. And uh, I've already got it out and played with it a little bit because I just couldn't stand waiting when it came in. And there's a few things I noticed compared directly to my Stella. First off, it is a lot more smooth than what the Stella is out of the box, but when you reel it, it is a little bit tougher to reel just like this, just because you gotta put a little bit more pressure to reel it, but it's smoother if that makes any sense. And I think that's just because the size of this. If I would go ahead and get this ulti or the Stella in an 8,000 size instead of a 5,000, chances are it would probably reel relatively similar. Now, um, this reel is a lot heavier than a Stella, but with the Saltiga being entirely aluminum and having no milling points on any of the reel, unlike the Stella having some milling on the actual uh, spool and on the rotor a little bit more, that, you know, it's gonna be a little bit heavier than what the Stella is. And not to mention that the Saltiga also has the monoco monocoque or monocoque or MQ body. So that's an entirely one piece body that they claim. And it has a really, really, really big main gear in the monocoque body, which also contributes to that weight. That's what this entire round section right here is, is that big round main gear. And that main gear is pretty much, it's, it's the entire size of this circle right here. So you can see how big it is. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that later but this reel is just very, very sleek and clean looking. It's classier looking to me than any other reel that I have, just because no milling or anything, and it just looks like a solid workhorse, and it looks very classy, especially with that light, or the dark blue and gold um, accents to it. It looks like a killer reel. Now, with that being said about the monocoque body, they claim that this one piece uh, frame system for the MQ body is newer or whatever, but in reality, it's been around for 20 years or so in van stall reels. It's reels like that that are meant to be submerged. They can be submerged while surf fishing. Um, you can fish them underwater. Stuff like that is it's it's been around in van stall. And uh, yeah, not saying that this reel should be underwater or reeled underwater like a van stall. Van stall probably still has way better. Uh, sealing than what this reel has, even though this has mag seal in it. It's just that Vanstall's had that technology for a very long time. Also, Daiwa uh, claims that they don't have a reel or side cover on it because it's that one piece system, but this side plate right here, like I mentioned, there's a specific tool that you can go in and take it off, and really that's a side plate with screws. It's just no visible outside screws. So that comes over. So technically it does have a side plate if you want to be that technical about it. But you know, it, at this point with as sealed as what this thing seems, it really doesn't matter as much. And then, like I mentioned, there's a bigger main gear underneath that plate and that helps match a super responsive drag. Um, and it's about hand in hand with what that Stella is because to me, I've always heard that Shimano has 
more responsive drag than what Daiwa has. So I'm, I'm assuming that super responsive drag you're gonna get with this is gonna be hand in hand with the Shimano, but I'm gonna be putting this thing to a test and seeing how it compares. Anyways, got a little carried away there. Let's go through with what else is in the box. And right here, you will see, it looks like there's a few more carbon drags in there. And then there's also a real line cover, whatever you want to call it. What you put on to keep your line all compacted in there on the reel instead of going all over the place. And then, of course, you got your schematics and your manual in there too. And it looks like that is about all that came in this box. So anyways, let's get the box put off to the side and get this reel a little bit closer look and uh, go over some more information on this reel. All right, now we're all set up to go over some more information on this reel. So this reel has a backup mechanical anti-reverse to help if the anti-reverse clutch actually fails by some chance. The backup is present in all 8,000 to 20,000 sizes. And if you wanna talk about the Shimano Stella with the anti-reverse clutch, the backup is only present in 18 and 20,000 sizes and not the 4,000 through 14,000 sizes in it. So, and then as you guys just saw, there's amazing feeling and sounding drag and it is super loud. Um, this aluminum drag cap is what has the sound mechanism and clicking mechanism built into it, and that's what makes it very loud, which I don't mind the loudness of it. I kind of like the loudness of it, but you know, we'll see how everything plays out after using it. Now, with the drag, it's got a top stack drag, and that is it in this reel. So there's no bottom stack, I believe, like the Stella has, but you know, it still creates a very good drag system. This top stack drag has roughly seven carbon fiber washers in the 8,000, 10,000, 14,000, then has nine carbon fiber washers in the 18 to 20,000 sizes. The website states that there's really 14 to 18, but that includes the metal discs included um, to the braking washers, which are carbon fiber washers that do all the work. The washers are smaller than the predecessor Saltiga, but they include more of them in this reel and they're slightly more tightly woven so that the drag is more responsive too. And then like I mentioned earlier, this reel is completely sealed. So every spot that has a chance of water to get in, Daiwa has done something to seal these. And just because it does state that it is fully sealed, like I mentioned, does not mean you should use it underwater. It can be dunked on an accident or get water in it and still be okay, but I would not suggest fully reeling this underwater. So the actual line roller has two corrosive resistant bearings and then two mag sealed plates on the outside of the line roller blocking water's entry point. The one piece air bale system feels super solid, heavy duty, um, it's not automatic, so it is a manual bail system, as you guys can see right there. It won't go, so you gotta close it by yourself, which isn't a big deal for me. I always close it anyways. I don't like forcing the ones that have automatic bails to automatically close when you start reeling. The predecessor had a Zion rotor, where the 2020 Saltiga has an aluminum rotor, which goes right here around the spool. And this aluminum rotor is a lot stronger than the Zion rotor that the predecessor actually had. This rotor also is a more compact rotor to give more room between the foot of the reel and the rotor. So right here. On the other one, you had a little bit less room in here, and that also helps keeping the bending movement of the reel foot so that it doesn't have as much tension on the reel itself. Now, one disadvantage of this reel is being that it is mag sealed, which can be a pro or con. Some people like it over the all the X ship and X all the all the stuff in the um, Daiwa or Shimano's that help seal it because you can service a Shimano yourself, but this reel. Um, it is very, very difficult to actually work on the reel yourself, and I would not uh, suggest it to actually work on your, well, working on the reel yourself because there are a lot of things that can go wrong. I wouldn't suggest getting the aftermarket Daiwa um, gear lube or the tools or anything like that to be able to tear this apart and really do it. So with that being said though, this reel has an amazing warranty, which I believe is a five-year warranty, and that five-year warranty um, 
is pretty much covers anything. You can send it in to get it cleaned. If anything breaks, you can send it in. Um, you overnight ship it to them, they will fix it, and with, I believe it's two days, they will um, have it done, or 24 hours, I'll have it done, sent back to you, and you'll have it like two days or three days after you actually do it. So you'll have it in the same week you send it in from what Daiwa said. I've never used that, so I don't know for sure how that works, but you know, it's okay. I don't I don't really plan on using it. I using the warranty system. If anything goes wrong, I can always bring it into a Daiwa service center. Plus, this one is a JDM, which I do not believe the US uh serve warranty program will cover. So, anyways, I don't really care about that warranty as much, but you know, some people do and yeah, I mean, it's totally up to you and his personal preference. This reel has taken away from the millings and drillings that were on the predecessor, which also helps keep water out of it um, in all the important places that you don't want water getting into. Like right here on the actual spool, you can see it does not have all those millings to where the pre uh, previous, which I believe is a Saltiga Expedition, um, had millings like the Stella has right there, going right into the actual pinion and some of the top of the actual gearings, which could potentially lead to some water getting into the reel itself. So um, I don't, I like having some millings on it like the Stella has, but I'm not personal. I, personally, I don't care whether it does or not, um, because I really like the look of this reel with no millings at all. But I also really like the look of the new 2023 that has millings all down the actual spool itself. Um, the main gear, as I mentioned, is huge, significantly larger, thicker, and stronger than its predecessor. And it's surprisingly lighter too. There's a better look at it for you guys, so you don't have the reel or the actual handle making the reel unfocused. Um, so yeah, it is a lighter gearing, which is surprising with as big as it is. Um, the pinion is a brass pinion to help add smoothness to the reel to in a super tight feeling. So if you guys reel this, you can tell everything in it feels super tight. And this is supposedly a, a brass pinion in there. The larger oscillation system between the main gear and this pinion helps create the improved cranking power on larger fish because it won't quite bend as much for the torque that is put on the pinion due to drag peeling. Um, some lighter end or not, well, I wouldn't call them lighter end, but lighter reels, um, they beef up the pinions in them and everything, but it still happens to bend, create pressure, because when you actually put this, the reel on here, and if you can imagine the line being on here and peeling off, it constantly has pressure on the spool going right towards the uh, line roller bearing, so you constantly have pressure on the pinion. So you want it to be beefed up like that and you want everything to be strong, you want everything to have the less torque possible because that will end up with less failures as long as you can take away from that torque that's put on it. So overall, this reel is a very, very appealing looking reel. I love the looks of it. Um, overall, compared to its competitor of it, I will say I really like the feel of the Saltiga better than the Stella. Now that could change as soon as I get the mini Stel or the mini Saltiga and put it to the test with the uh, Saltiga or the Stella. So I want to get one that's very similar size so then I don't have to worry about um, any of the weight or size making issues or differences in it. So I do plan on getting that mini Saltiga to put up a, to the test against a Stella, either a 4,000 or 5,000 size, still deciding. But even if you guys just kind of look into the look at the Stella I don't know if you can hear it but just even moving the reel you can hear a little bit of clicking in there and there's a little bit of move in the actual spool itself um, the rotor no move in it but you know that's just a few things you notice off the bat to where when you pick up this Saltiga the reel's got a tiny bit of play in it I think it's because of where it connects right here um, the spool has zero play in it at all, and of course the rotor has zero play in it at all. So it is feel it does just feel a lot more well well put together than what the Stella does just off the bat. But I do love my Stella, and I look forward to putting this up to the test too. So, anyways, there is the unboxing and initial impressions, and just going over some information on the Saltiga. I've used one of these before. 
and uh, not much, but I have a limited experience with one, and they feel very, very, very good in the water. I'm looking forward to putting this one to the test and seeing how it comes and uh, performs, and then I'm also looking forward to getting one of the new Saltiga Minis to be able to do some reviews on and uh, really be able to put to the test compared to my Stella because it'll be about the same size and everything as the Stella, so we can do a real shootout. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video of the Daiwa Saltiga, and we will see you in the next one.